I'm Courtney Kibitzo with Stalls. Did you know that you can create full color bling effects by sublimating direct onto Stalls Glitter Flake? Glitter Flake is a polyester based material, so it makes the perfect base for accepting your sublimation inks to add bling effects to your full color prints. The process works best with light colors of Glitter Flake, so your whites, silvers, and even your fluorescent yellow shades. This will allow for the vibrancy of your full color prints to truly show through. In this video, we're going to show you two ways that you can sublimate directly onto Stahl's Glitter Flake. The first is the on the garment method. With this method, you're going to be sublimating Glitter Flake directly onto the fabric. The second method is off the garment. This is perfect for those heat sensitive fabrics that can't take the high heat of sublimation or for printing on demand. For this method, we're going to be sublimating the Glitter Flake off of the garment and then applying it directly to our fabric. Let's head over to the heat press. For the first method, we're going to do the on the garment sublimation. I'm going to just load my garment onto the heat press to get started and then preheat to remove any moisture or wrinkles. For this method, registration is key. So I'm going to show two different ways that you can easily register your graphics. The first method is to allow for a white bleed or a contour on the outside of your white glitter flake. This will help to make registration easier as you'll see on the back of my shirt. The second method, I'm going to allow the bleed to actually be a little bit larger than the center of my design. And that's going to allow me to register a little bit easier as well on the front of my shirt. This works best whenever it's on a dark garment since the inks will sublimate a little bit onto the fabric. To start, I'm gonna line up my glitter flake number on the back of my shirt with my heat press set for my sublimation transfer at 385 degrees. I'm gonna tack the glitter flake down for just two seconds. This will give it just enough time to release from the carrier. And then it'll get a full application when I go through the sublimation process to stay durable to the garment. Next, I'm gonna register up my graphic. Again, I mentioned the white bleed is gonna make it easier for registration. I've also cut my graphic to the side of my transfer so that it makes it easier to line up with the straight line. So I have a little bit of glitter flake exposed, so I'm going to grab a cover sheet. If you're worried about the transfer paper moving throughout the process, you could also use a heat seal tape, and this will allow you to hold it down in place so it won't shift during the heat transfer. For this application, the sublimation paper applies at 385 degrees for 35 seconds. Once that's complete, I can peel back my cover sheet and lift off my transfer paper. There we have a subtle ombre design on the back with the number that's been fully sublimated. To complement that design, we're just going to flip it to the front and then apply our original design. Since I'm using the Hotronics Fusion Heat Press, I do just want to make sure to quickly preheat the front of my shirt for this application. Line up my glitter transfer as I did with the back. Tack that down for the two seconds. That'll allow the glitter flake to release from the carrier so it'll stay down to the garment so I can align my sublimation transfer. And then remember, this sublimation transfer has a bleed to the outside. So it's actually going to be overlapping the garment which will help with registration. You want to make sure to use this only with dark garments so that the extra color that transfers over won't show up on a light fabric. Grab my cover sheet to cover up the exposed glitter flake. And I'll apply for the full application. Peel back my paper and we have a completed design. The 
second method is the off the garment method. This method works perfectly for emblems or shapes that are all one piece. It's going to allow you to sublimate them all in one step off of the garment and then apply them whenever you're ready. Perfect for heat sensitive items or for customization on demand. Let's show you how this step works. First, I'm gonna remove my glitter flake from the clear carrier and line it up glitter flake down on my platen. If you don't have a quick slip pad protector, you may wanna use a cover sheet on the bottom of your platen for this step. Once I have them lined up, I'm just going to line up a piece of my Teflon coated cover sheet. This cover sheet has a non-stick surface, so it'll ensure that the glitter flake adhesive isn't compromised during application. I've trimmed my sheet up to make it easier for me to line up registration in my next step. I'm just gonna tack this for a second so that the glitter flake heat transfer material will stick to the cover sheet. And then I'll grab my sublimation transfers. I'm gonna line up my sublimation transfers on the platen. Grab my glitter flake heat transfer that's now been placed onto a cover sheet. This will help to hold the sublimation paper in place during the application. You may notice I have a little bit of a bleed on the sublimation transfer as well to make alignment easier for this step. Once I have that complete, I can heat apply these for the recommended application for my sublimation transfer. Once it's complete, I can peel back my glitter Teflon sheet from my sublimation paper. And I've got a completed design. Now I'll let these cool down before I remove them so that the adhesive doesn't stick together since it's still hot from the heat application. Once our heat transfers have cooled down, I can remove them from their Teflon coating and apply them to my heat sensitive items or my garments or store them for later. I'm gonna grab my next item. For this application, I'm going to be using a tri-blend garment from Boxercraft that's actually heat sensitive, so it would have had a tendency to scorch at that 385 degrees. That makes this method a perfect application for creating that full color sublimation print on this fashionable fabric. Preheat to remove any moisture and wrinkles. And you'll notice that my heat application has actually dropped down to the 320 degrees. That's the normal application for Stahl's Glitter Flake. Line up my glitter transfer. Since I have the sublimation and the glitter transfer exposed, I am gonna make sure to wanna grab a piece of craft paper or a cover sheet to cover that. That way the inks don't um, expose to the top of the heat press. Glitter flake normally applies at 10 seconds at 320 degrees, so I'm gonna use the traditional application. Peel back my cover sheet and we have a completed garment. This new cutting edge design trend is sure to wow your customers. The process is fast and it's easy. Glitter flake is available from stalls. You can buy it in a roll to cut on your vinyl or laser cutter. And if you don't have a cutter, we can cut the transfers for you. For more information on Glitter Flake or to purchase, visit us at stalls.com.